video podcast. I'm Veronica Belmont. And I'm the bespeckled James Kim. Yes, I do have my glasses back. Yes. That's good. And this is the show where we're going to take a look at the latest, hottest, and raddest, dopest, fattest gadgets to hit the streets. The sickest gadgets, yes. y'all. Anyway, this is episode number four, which means we have tons of stuff to talk about from the Crave blog. And you yes. can see the blog at crave.cnet.com. Yes, I saw something very interesting just a second ago. I was driving, trying to get here really quickly, and I saw this guy on a big motorcycle pumping the tunes. He had all these speakers on it. Oh, was it the purple purple motorcycle? Yes, it was. Oh, my God, I know that guy. He pumps yes. right in front of my house every... I swear, that's yes, so anyway, San Francisco uh, delight there. But <laughs> on the Crave blog, there were actually two from the Ministry of Tech. They're actually little tiny speakers that look like little missiles that you mount on the handlebar, and it's pretty darn cool. And this is for a, a motorcycle or a bicycle? A uh, motorcycle or bicycle. You know, it doesn't sound too safe to me. It doesn't really? seem like I a good idea to listen to music while you're... I don't, know what you, I don't know what Veronica's talking about because if you're listening with headphones, it's even more dangerous. So if you're blurring the music out in front of you, at least you can create a party. But atmosphere. wouldn't you kind of distract other drivers? I don't know. They're not very, very strong. I don't, rocking your jam. I think they're like, like 10 watts long. each or something. People are looking at you, checking out, rocking out. So what do you got? <laughs> well, okay, so if you have a lot of music, like you say you do, yes. you're probably going to want a way to organize it. And one great way is to use barcodes. Oh, like Very the QCAT. Yeah, so the Flick Media Organizer, <laughs> it actually takes a scanner that you buy, and you scan the barcodes on okay. your device, and I've then it records this. it into a library on your PC. And it comes with software and everything? It comes with software, yeah, and okay. so it checks up all the database of the items online. Uh huh. Uh, downloads cover art and book covers. Oh, that's pretty cool. Very so you nice. clean up your media library, basically. Yeah, you're basically okay. organizing all your cool stuff. Well, speaking of clean, did you see that uh, the shower, the, the cool shower with the wall that's like all jungly? The cool shower with the wall, it's all it, jungly. It's basically is this, this from Lost. Yeah, I, no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but it's a prototype wall, and I don't think it's even a video wall or anything. It's mm -hmm. just it's backlit, and it has like the, the soothing uh, jungle in the background. Soothing. And uh, on the Crave blog, basically, you know, you just get in the shower. You know, you got some Axe effect on you, and just, you know. <laughs> they need like music of the of the jungle or something to kind of get you into the Yes, whole I think this whole nature, bringing nature into technology thing, mm -hmm. is really cool, and I'm into it. Well, okay, so something you might not know about me is that I'm left-handed. Okay, you're southpaw. I am a southpaw. Awesome. And this has really nothing to do with the gadget I'm about to talk about, but it is kind of relevant to me because whenever I write, I smudge. I smudge mm -hmm. myself. So when I'm taking notes, like with a pen or a pencil, obviously, I smudge all the writing on the paper. It's been happening that okay, way since so I was happens? little. So if you have the Digimemo A402. 402, not 420. No, oh, no. Okay. This will solve all your problems. <laughs> so what it does is it's a pen. And so you write on a regular standard, uh -huh. like 8.5 by 11 uh, sheet of paper. Okay. And it records all your notes and all your doodles all your into jots. the computer. Okay. So you can go back and edit them digitally later. So did you see that uh, fridge, that dope fridge? Fridge. Yeah. Just I'm into this one because it has a built-in bar. A built-in bar. Yes. All right. Well, I guess I do have to check it out. So it has a little like door on the other side of the water sprinkle area, uh -huh. and you just have your drinks there, and it cools it, and it it keeps them all it's cool. ready to go. And although you can sort of always open your refrigerator and pick them out anyway, I think this feature is really cool. It's, it's definitely for the bachelor pad and all of us. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I'm, I'm more into like the internet connected fridges where I can be like, okay, this item is missing from my refrigerator. I'm going to automatically order it on on Stop and Shop or Safe. Oh, uh, you're you're down there. Does that exist yet? I don't know. You're, you're down to under a half bottle of Hennessy. That's the way it works, I think. <laughs> well, if you have stuff that you want us to check out, you can do so by emailing us at crave at cnet.com. Yes. We want to see all your links and videos and pictures of cool stuff that yes. you found on the internet. You've been sending them to us. Keep sending them. And by the way, I have a teaser really quick. I was going to construct this thing in about 20 minutes, but I couldn't. I want to do it justice. But this is ro 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 bot watch. This is the Mindstorms from Lego. This is the latest one. It just came out. It's the NXT. It's got Bluetooth, baby. What does it have Bluetooth for? I don't know. So I'm going to construct this, and I'm going to bring <laughs> it on the show and show you how it operates next week. Okay? Awesome. All right. Bye. Time.